Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Today we have an interesting equation. We have x to the fourth power equal to 4. And on the first side, this is an easy equation because we will have obvious roots right here. But we all know that if we have fourth power right here, then we will have four roots. So let's find all roots in our case. First of all, let's bring this 4 on the left. We will have x to the fourth power minus 4 equal to equal to 0. And as you can see right here, we can write this 4 as, as 2 square and this x to the fourth power we can write as x square to the second power. So as you can see I just did nothing, I just write this x to the fourth power as x square to the second power. If we raise it we will have the same and if we raise 2 to the second power we will have 4. So nothing changed. But if you see closely we will have a square minus b square. We will have our formula, we will have difference of squares. As a result we will have a minus b and times a a plus b. So as you can see right here we will have a x square and b equal to 2. So let's use this, let's use this formula. As a result we can split it into an identity. We will have x square minus 2 and times x square x square plus 2 equal to 0. So I hope you understand this step. So right now we have a product of two of two parentheses. So we can write, we need to write that x square minus 2 equal to 0. From here x square equal to 2 and our our obvious root that our x, x first and x second equal to plus minus square root of, of 2. Plus minus square root of 2. Right here we have two roots. This is roots in, in real numbers. So this is real, real numbers. But right here as you can see we have two real number roots and moreover if you solve this on the right we will have x square plus 2 equal to 0 and as you can see x square equal to minus 2 has no roots in, in, in real numbers so we need to find two roots in, in complex numbers so we'll, let's use the same logic let's find the square root from both sides we will have x equal to square root of minus 2 and if we rewrite this as square root of minus 1 times 2 and moreover if you know that the rule we can separate it and write it as square root of minus 1 and times square root of 2. And if we are talking about complex roots we know that square root of minus 1 equal to i and as a result we will have our, our answer we will have plus minus square root of 2 times i and of course plus minus and plus minus right here in every step. So as a result these two in real numbers and x second and x third and fourth, we will have plus minus square root of 2i. This is roots in our in our complex numbers. So as you can see, we find our four roots. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. Write a suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.